Good morning again to the online class of Monbeshia School. As you know, I am your English literature teacher. So yesterday I have given you the answers, and today I'll give you the remaining two answers of chapter one. Now you take out your copy and start writing the answers. So yesterday I have given you question number four and five. Okay, and today I'll give you question number six. You write the question. The speaker was awakened. A W A K E N D. Awakened by a body falling over him. First job. What else did he feel? F W -E L. Feel and hear at the same time. Question mark. Leave a line and then you write the answer. At the same time, comma. He received R E C E I V E G received a burning liquid on his face, comma neck and chest. C H E S T chest. First stop. He cried out of pain. First stop. He also heard a heard H E A R D heard a dreadful noise. D R E A D F U L dreadful noise, as if a sideboard, S I D E B O A R D sideboard, laden with L A D E N laden with plates and dishes, had fallen down. First stop. Now you come to the next question. That was question number seven. The armchair was solid. Full stop. Why was this discovery important to the speaker? Question mark. In this question, you will be getting three options. You have to take the correct option of this answer. So you write down the three options. A. It meant that. That means you have to write which one is the correct answer according to the question. Why was this discovery important to the speaker? Okay. Ne a. It meant that he could protect himself with the chair if necessary. That means he could defend himself with the chair if necessary. Second one. It meant that he could sleep in the chair. And third one is it meant that his friends had not laid l a i d laid a tra trap. For him in the chair. Okay, so the question is the armchair was solid. So why this is important for the speaker? The correct answer is number C. Why it uh, he thinks it to be a solid the chair th he thinks that the chair is a solid one because it meant that his friends had not laid a trap for him in the chair. So this number C is your correct answer. Give a tick to number C. So I hope you have written all the word me uh, you you have written all the question answers of chapter one. So you will learn the word meaning and question answer of chapter one as your English literature homework. Thank you.